November till April, where the cruise ships arrive, and then also there's a little bit of season going on after the cruise ships get here. So until May, June, the beginning of June, you have quite hot season. So a lot of people in hotels and restaurants work in these fields. And then you have a little bit of uh, agriculture, as I mentioned before, the sugar cane and the bananas. <coughs> and of course, a light industry in the sugar production and rubber production. These are basically the economical sectors of uh, the island. And um, the rest is being uh, supported. More money is coming from France to keep the island alive. I was just asked about the crime or criminality here in Guadeloupe. It's like uh, <coughs> it's, there's some criminality going on in Puerto Pito, of course. It's the biggest town. It's like in every other big town where you have uh, parts, poorer populations, parts of um, poorer families, and also, of course, uh, social buildings and social apartments. So uh, the criminality rate is uh, the highest. It's comparable to any other big town, London, this is Saint Pito, Anne. Uh, London Paris, or Berlin, where you have some... Uh, never happened to... Nothing ever happened to me. So um, if you walk around and if you want to get to enjoy Puerto Pito later on when you come back to the cruise, you can do it without worries. Just take care of your stuff like you would in any other big town. That's what I usually recommend everybody. We are now back in St. Anne, and you can see now it's really uh, pretty busy here in town center. It's um, a very uh, famous place for people to spend their weekend on the beach and tourists to come. And as there's this other big cruise at the harbor at the moment, I think a lot of tourists took just a private cab and came to the beach here in St. Anne. And you can see little parts of the beach if you look left through this little street <coughs> because the beach is just on the other side of the road. So now we are driving again through St. Anne, and now you can see the other part, and over there at the edge of the island, up there, if you turn around this uh, corner, there is the beach of Club Med, of this uh, Plage de la Caravelle, the very beautiful beach I mentioned before, so uh, that would be a nice place to go if you came back for. Yeah, but 
could tell you're German. <laughs> As you're passing by the cemetery again, um, there is a, this is really a tradition. And um, what happens at the cemetery uh, when there is a funeral in Guadeloupe is not really uh, too much about grieving. It's more um, celebrating the life the person had lived. So uh, yesterday, for example, I wanted to go home after work. And I couldn't find a parking spot. And I was like, my goodness. And uh, in town center, close to where I live, there is a funeral place. And actually, there was a funeral. That's why it was so packed and so busy. And there were so many people. And they were celebrating and eating and drinking. And I was like, wow, impressed. So once again, I just noticed how big the difference is. Because in Germany, we are more about grieving and being sad and not really talking and remembering. But here, it's more celebrating the life of the person who had who has passed away. And um, everybody's dressed in black and white, again, these two colors. <laughs> and then